Long ago, they made clay coil pots. So these are little pots made out of clay coils. They assembled them up just like little walls to create the walls of their pots. There are so many different ways that you can coil the clay. Clay is from the earth, and we'll talk a little bit more about later. But what's cool about clay coil pots is that you can do it all crazy and creative, and that's why I love this project so much. There's lots of rules, though. You have to make sure that you slip and score, otherwise it'll fall apart. Someone finds some clay, it goes to a factory so that they can make it pure, and that's why it's not like filled with bugs and worms and stuff. But it's basically a piece of mud that has a lot of history. A lot of different cultures have used clay. When people discovered clay, they noticed that it would dry super hard. It would dry bone dry, which means it's as dry as a bone. It has kind of the texture of a bone. Then they would put it into a kiln, and we have a kiln at school, which is an oven that goes up to 2,000 degrees. So here's the classroom. Over here is where the kiln is. No students are allowed in here. This kiln gets up to 2,000 degrees, has a giant vent. So basically you think of this as a big old oven. Once it gets out of the oven, it's much harder, still a little bit fragile, but then it makes a great surface for paint. Here's some things you need to know about clay. Clay is really good at absorbing water. When we work on this next week, you're going to have a little bit of water and you're going to need to use it to kind of form your clay. If it ever gets dry, just add more water. But you'll notice next week, I'm only going to give you a little bit of water. If you put too much water, your clay will have a hard time drying, which means you won't be getting it back. I'm going to let these dry for a week and then I put them in the kiln. And then as soon as they're done cooking in there, which takes a full day, but I can't put anything that is wet in the kiln. Does anyone want to raise their hand and guess what will happen if I put something wet in the kiln? Anything that is wet and is put in the kiln explodes. One thing that makes natural clay different from the clays that we have right here that are man-made is that you have to slip and score. Raise your hand if you know what slip and score means. So they had to slip and score teeth and ears. They made something that they wanted to put on their clay. But with clay, you can't just stick it on there. Because when this fires, when it goes in the kiln, guess what? It's just going to pop right off because there's going to be an air bubble in there and it's going to explode. If I want to attach something onto this piece and I don't want it to fall or break off, you're going to have to score it. Score it means you're taking something like this plastic needle here and I'm just drawing little marks, little tallies in different directions. I'm also going to draw marks and tallies on the thing that I want to attach. This will connect the two pieces a little bit better and there's less chance of an air bubble. But now we need to add slip. Slip just means clay and water. It means adding water to the clay. So I'm going to take my finger, put it into the water and add some little bits of moisture to the piece I'm going to attach and I have to add water to the spot where I want to attach and push. I'm not done yet. Then I take my finger and I'm smoothing the edge. This is going to be so important for our clay work next week. All right, so today you guys are going to be researching and coming up with your clay coil pot design for your sketchbook. This is something that you'll have next time if you would like to use it, but this is to help you brainstorm what you're gonna create. Every year I like to give all my students at least one day to think about how they're gonna use clay, because if I just hand you a bunch of clay, you might make something cool, but chances are you're gonna be really frustrated because you don't know what you're trying to make yet. So we're gonna be making a clay coil pot. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to do a quick Google search for this. So many different ways to do a clay quill pot. So it's really good to know what you're looking for. You might wanna do something really elaborate. You can do something simple with some elaborate pieces. Spirals, you can braid the quills together. Now, when you guys are looking at all of this, remember there is a sequence to it. You're going to lay them flat on top of each other. You do have to slip and score. Let's go ahead and go to classwork. I want you to go to week 28, introduction to sculpture, yay. And open the one, two, three for me. Give me a thumbs up once you're here. Here's our agenda for today. Um, there's some really important info I want you to check out in number one. We're watching the video right now. And then I want you guys to add some inspiration to your portfolio. 
So in the number one, it's going to look like this. Here's just some different images for your inspiration. There's two videos on here. Number four is the most important. This goes over what I need from you today. You're going to put this in the look and think on your sculpture unit. Load a picture to your digital portfolio of the sketch you're gonna make in your sketchbook. So the first thing I want you to do before you start sketching is to check out this video on slide three. So this is a long video. That's why I get, let y'all have your headphones. You do not have to watch the whole thing. In fact, I'm just gonna mute it and make it real big. But instead of lecturing you on all the different coils that you can make, here's a video that you can just skip through. So I'm just gonna kinda click through it. I want you to see how this random lady did her coil pot, but she shows you different ways that you can manipulate the clay into different spirals. She does a dotted method. Anyway, I want you guys just to at least check this out so you can get some ideas. This is how I want your sketch to look. I want you to show me what kind of techniques you wanna try, or is it just going to be a random coil pot? All right, let's go ahead and find our portfolio. So you have the one, two, three open. Let's go back to Art at Home fourth grade under classwork and give me a thumbs up. Now there's two ways that you can find your portfolio. You can swipe up on the screen and just type in art and your portfolio should show up that way. Or if that is too intense for you, you can go to classwork and your portfolio is at the top linked inside. Go ahead and find your portfolio and give me a thumbs up. And then I want you to go to slide 34. That's going to be our kind of think page, our brainstorming page here. Want to know what your vision is? I'm just nosy like that. Let me show you a way that you can fill this up because I don't want just your sketch. I want some inspiration too. Let's go ahead and get our inspiration now. You're going to see a button at the top that says insert. If you press that, you can go down to image, and then there is going to be an option for search the web. Here's what I want you to try looking up. Clay, coil, pot. And look, you can click and insert these images into this page. That way you have some inspiration that you can think about this week as you're coming up with your design for next week. All right, let me do that one more time for people who just don't get it. At the top, there's insert, image, search the web. I typed in clay coil pot. Maybe I can leave this on the board for you to look for. And then scroll. Maybe you can add clay coil vase. Look at some of these intense coil pots. I'm going to give you about maybe two minutes or so. We'll set a timer and I want you just to use the insert tool, insert image, search the web and find at least one to two images that you can use. All right. So now I have three inspirational images that I can use to think about my pot over the next week. I'm going to move my Chromebook away and close it for now. If you need to add more images, you can, but now I'm going to go ahead and get my sketchbook. Today, you're going to be using your sketchbook. Um, we're also going to be needing a pencil. All right, I want you to go to page 48 and then give me a thumbs up. We're not going to do that. It's just a little bit too overwhelming. I just want you guys to think about your project. So on this other page, I want you to draw your coil pot. You can use your Chromebook as some inspiration so that you can see someone else's. But I want you to think about it from maybe bottom to top. We're gonna start off with a base. And so it kind of looks like a little pancake. Once you have the base, start sketching out your coils. Remember you can do fancy tricks. Like here, I'm doing spirals. Remember you can spiral the clay, add your slip and score and it will all stick together. I like to add coils on top of my kind of tricky coils. And then I'm gonna switch it up and do some of the spear coils. So I'm making little pebbles basically and gluing those on with the slip and score. And then I'm just probably gonna finish it up with a coil on top. And then if you're feeling real tricky, real fancy, you can be like me, I'm thinking I'm gonna add a handle to mine. Just go to your Chromebook, press insert, image, then camera. 
Once you have a picture of your sketch, don't forget to press insert and then place it where you want it to go. And then there you go. You have your inspiration. You have your idea. You are all set for next week. If you are done, here are your options. Change the background on this slide if you really want to. Maybe I kind of want to do just a more interesting, almost brown kind of background. Remember, you can edit photos by clicking them, pressing format options, and adjusting them that way. There we go, now it's super bright. Check out this video here. It's by one of my friends who's also an art teacher. Her name is Mrs. Stevens and she's just as crazy as me. She goes over the science of clay. If you've already done your inspiration slide and you have your sketch in there, I also have the iPad, just let me know and I can sanitize this for you. There is an app called Pottery. Although it's just a game and it's not like the real thing, you can create your own pottery. You can fire it in a kiln, just like a real one. And this could be an interesting game for you. Your inspiration. Don't forget that you can also just search the web to find some really cool images. Don't be too nervous. But I am so excited for us to get started next week. Have fun today.